4,000 people packed into Sun Peaks this weekend for snow bombing, a music and snow sports festival that's been hosted at the Interior Ski Resort for two years. While the festival is relatively new to Canada, it has a long history overseas. We're heading into our 20th year in Austria, in uh, Meyerhofen. So we've had this event for 20 years, 20 years is a long time. It's the world's first ski resort music festival. A festival that takes over an entire ski resort, both on the mountain and the village. So it's a really unique model. The festival featured dozens of artists, including Odessa, Nightmare, and Daniel Caesar. This year is same kind of model, same blueprint, but a lot of tweaking and a lot of just enhancing, optimizing. Just little things that most people wouldn't even notice, but enhances the festival. So we've been lucky with that. Organizers plan to host a party at Sun Peaks for many years to come. This is meant to be here for, for the long haul, and hopefully it becomes a, you know, on the calendar for Canadian festival goers. We're about a 4,000 capacity event. We'd like to get up to, in the years, we'd like to get up to eight. I think if we get up to five in the next couple of years, we'll be very happy. For Castanet News here at Sun Peaks, I'm Nick Johansson. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net. <laughs>